Hi everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. This is Tina with Tina's Craft Creations. I'm on today with a very quick little collective haul. I have some things from Frank Garcia and also a couple things to show you from a company that I ordered from called Brutus Monroe. I'll show you that last, but I did place an order from Frank Garcia. It's the first time I've ordered from them in a while. I got this cute little card. Um, it's to uh, advertise his new collection, which in my opinion looks very similar to his other Halloween collections. Um, I can't remember the name of this one, but it is really cute. It looks similar to 31 and Luna and things like that. And they also included these Mente papers, bonus sheet, um, little cut aparts, and this is really pretty. So they usually include stuff like that in their packaging. All right, so this is my Frank Garcia order, and this was totally inspired um, and enabled by Michelle over at Paper Dreams and Things. Um, I had my eye on this collection. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was gonna order it, but of course I decided to because it's really cute. It's the new Crate Paper um, Christmas collection called Holly Jolly Holiday. Now, um, I, will, I will preface this by saying that I am disappointed in the fact that American Crafts did not come out uh, with very much to go with this collection. Um, they literally only came out with paper, cardstock stickers, and ephemera. And I think there was a pack of thickers as well, which I did not get. Um, but they did not come out with a 12 by 12 foam sticker sheet. Obviously no chipboard, so I was hoping they'd come out with a foam sticker sheet at least, but they did not. So I did order some paper and um, the elements that I knew I personally would use. Now, I'm probably not going to be working with this collection this year. I'm going to save it for next year when I can mix it with um, Mittens and Mistletoe, Busy Sidewalks, and maybe Hey Santa even. Um, but this year, I'm working with um, some of the older crepe paper collections for Christmas. Um, but this is paper um, called, uh, let's see what this one was called. This one is, again, Holly Jolly Holiday. Um, I don't know the name of this one. Is there even, I don't think there is even a name to this one. It just says P05, so it just has numbers. There's not even names of these. So this one has like an aqua, like a light minty background with some Christmas trees. And then we have some little red peppermint candies on this side. So very strange that they didn't um, name these. So I got two of those. I think I got two of most of them, except for the cut aparts. I got more of those. I got four of this one. This one, it has um, a black background with all these cute little cut aparts lots of labels and sentiments and things which you guys know I love sentiments and then this uh, green on green um, leaf pattern I got two of this one with the little Christmas ornaments it's really cute so I don't know if crepe paper is going to be discontinuing products or or what but this collection was very limited um i was pretty surprised that they didn't even come out with like a foam sticker sheet to go with it this one here with all the little presents which can totally be cut apart and made into embellishments i got four of this one because it's like sort of a cut apart and then this um like holly and leaf pattern on our holly berries and leaves on that one i got two of this one with the floral and this red and green plaid, but this will definitely go with um, mittens and mistletoe and um, busy sidewalks very nicely. I also got four of this one because again, if it's a cut cut apart sheet, I oh no, I'm sorry, I got six of this one. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I got like eight of this one because <laughs> this one was my favorite because it's got like big pieces and I love the little bingo card kind of thing there. Um, but I love these kinds of cut aparts because you can use labels for layering and you can make those cut aparts into embellishments or tags for tag flips. So I got like eight of this one and you have a red and dark red stripe. All right, I got a couple of this plaid one. But I really hope that Crate Paper is going to continue making products for American Crafts and hopefully the next collection, when and if they come out with more, another collection, they'll have more elements this floral here, green on green, sort of a plaid design. This one here is really cute. I got two of this one, the little houses, and then this one. And then I got two of this one with the light bluey gray. It's kind of like a bluey color with white snowflakes. And then a pink with a white stripe. And then we have this one with the little Santas. Super cute. And then a gray and black plaid. 
And then the last one, which is one of my favorites, is this really cute one with these little animals. How adorable are these? So cute. And then the green and green dot. So that's all the paper. I did get quite a bit of the 12 by 12 paper. I did not order the 12 by 12 paper pad. There was no six by eight paper pad either, which was also, again, a little bit disappointing. Um, I did order three packs of cardstock stickers. So we have these labels and some little, we have gold foiling. We have the little, cute little gingerbread girls and boys. Little the woman holding her presents, which is very reminiscent of busy sidewalks. Cute little snow globe kind of thing. Lots of sentiments here, which I love. Some stamps. And then we have some more little elements. Um, cute little gingerbreads. Some more stamps and some strips. So I got three packs of those. And then I got two packs of the little enamel dot stickers. Um, these are super, super cute. They're tiny little enamel dot stickers. Little gumdrops and can peppermint candies, pep um, candy canes, gingerbread, met boys and girls, bows, a little Santas, um, some stars, super cute. So I got two of those. Okay, and then as far as the ephemera packs, you guys know I love ephemera. I did get three of each. Um, I got three of the journal elements, and then I got three of the uh, icons. So we'll go through these together. This is a 53 piece ephemera pack. Um, this is the uh, like kind of journaling bits. And um, so we have this one. We have this one. Some, some labels. This one. The little hearts. Some more little label bits, a little stamp, or like a ticket. We have a sentiment here that says, Happy Holidays to you, which you could totally layer up with like something like that right there. Um, we have this one, some more like journaling spot ones, December 25th, a Merry, December 25, a Merry Christmas. Again, a little label and a little journaling spot. Another little sentiment that says Mary, a label. And then I love that they gave us these all tear apart little sentiment pieces. Love these so much when they do that. So we have that pack there in the um, smaller pocket of the um, journal bit one. And then we have some larger pieces, which I'll show you in one second. So let me not lose these. Like I said, I'm not going to be working with this collection this year, but I wanted to pick it up. I'm going to be working with um, Snowflake, Merry Days, and that Laura by Laura collection from a couple years ago. The postcards, I think it was called. Um, that's my intention, anyway, to work with that those collections this year. Because um, I want to give my Hey Santa a little break since I worked with it last year. I don't want to run out. And um, then this one, you do get some vellum pieces, lots of little vellum um, stamps. A little set, couple sentiments. It says peace, peace and joy. I love the little stamps. Um, lots of vellum pieces. December 25th, peace, joy, follow law. Um, but yeah, I want to um, give my Hey Santa stash a little break so I don't run out because that's my favorite Christmas collection ever. So I'm trying to make it last as long as possible. So I will pull that one out again, most likely next year. I'll just kind of alternate um, every year as, as long as I can until I, you know, until something comes out that I want to, you know, use and um, just, you know, hoard what I have left of Hey Santa. <laughs> um, so, and then we have these little ones that cut apart. Um, or no, no, that's not a cut apart. That's just one big piece, but you could cut them apart if you really wanted to. Um, again, little like labels, December 25th, journaling spots, and yeah, um, some tickets, a uh, single ticket, it says North Pole, Admit One, Home for the Holidays, little ticket that says Merry, 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 some labels, journaling spots. Uh, lots of those. Another little label with some gold foiling, a Christmas wish list, and then some more journal spots. We have a label with a little design on there. We have this one and these little cut apart tags, which are really nice. Are they like they uh, are perforated? 
And then we have this one, Peace on Earth. So that's the Journal uh, Ephemera, the 53 piece pack. Um, yeah, like I said, this collection was on my radar, but I wasn't 100% sure if I was going to get it just because I knew they didn't come out with a lot of elements, which I was kind of upset about, you know. I mean, American Crafts, I don't know what's going on with them. I did hear that they were actually owned by another company now or they got bought out or something like that. So I don't know what kind of positive and negative um, changes we're going to continue to see from them. But obviously there was some issues, I think, with the journal or with the um, Paige Evans Tricks and Treats collection. I heard everyone got sold out of it. In fact, I'll mention that again at the end because I have something to show you from that collection. But this is the 98 piece ephemera pack. I don't ever remember getting that many pieces in a pack of ephemera from American Crafts. So uh, crepe paper um, pack. So this is pretty awesome. They're giving us almost 100 pieces of ephemera, which is pretty amazing. So we have lots of little sentiments, these cute little gingerbread boys and girls, presents, uh, a wreath. Um, I kind of wish now, and I might go back and order the thickers, the thicker, um, puppy thickers were, um, like a gingerbread theme and they're super cute and it would be kind of nice to have those, um, in my stash for next year when I do use this collection. Um, cute little snowman, a little, uh, horn, little gold, oops, scalloped, um, piece here. Lots of gold foiling in these, which is really nice. I love that little Christmas tree. The little deer is so cute. I love this little van with the plaid with the tree on top. Lots of little tiny florals and gingerbread cookies and gingerbread men and girls. Little candles, um, florals. Again, lots of little gingerbread boys and girls. Um, Christmas ornaments, tiny little... Um, Tiny little, um, oh no, I thought that candy cane was separate. It's on there. Okay, so a little mug of hot cocoa, a little fox, and some more florals. A little fox is super sweet. Again, a little calendar and a little ruffled um, edge there for some layering or what have you. I can't believe they give you 98 pieces. That's pretty phenomenal. Um, like I said, I have heard that American Crafts is now owned by another company or something like that. So I don't know what kind of um, positive and negative um, <laughs> things we're going to be seeing from them as time goes on, as they're going to continue to have distribution issues um, or if they're going to, you know, really figure out what's going on and get us the products that we're, you know, wanting to use and spend our money on. So and then this pack, you do have lots of more, lots more of the vellum pieces, some cute little like snow globes, um, gingerbread, um, and little houses. Let's see, we have the little owl, another little gingerbread guy, uh, Christmas uh, stocking. Lots and lots of vellum pieces, which sometimes can be hard to use. Um, so I don't know how I'll work those into my um crafting but we'll see again uh, it's going to be a while before i play with this collection so uh, i just want to have it in my stash because i do think it'll pair nicely with a lot of things that i already own um cute little bows with some gold foiling um and then we have just some tiny little gumdrops and florals feeling jolly I love that gold foiling. It's so pretty. And I love that they kind of gave us a lot of small pieces with these ephemera bits because sometimes they give you like larger pieces and, you know, that's a little bit frustrating because, you know, those of us that are paper crafting, we want to have small pieces to work with for embellishments and things. And, um, you know, we're not all scrapbookers out there. So we do want to have some small bits. Um, Happy holidays to you. I love these little like bingo card pieces. I love those so much. This one here. I think there's one more. Yeah, Jolly. So those are super cute. Um, lots of little bits here. Tiny little pieces in here, which is great. Um, I'll show you the smaller bits as I get to them. Follow la if you hear anything, it's Ollie. He brought a toy down to play with. Uh, Holly, or happy holidays to you. A little truck. Season's greetings from the North Pole. I love that with the gold foiling. 
So yeah, there's lots of little tiny pieces, lots and lots of gingerbread characters, florals, uh, snowflakes. So if you have your eye on this collection, snatch it up because it might not be around very long. Um, and like I said, I don't know if Crate Paper is going to crank out any more collections in the future or not because it just seems like as time passes, they are really limiting on what they're coming out with. They used to crank out multiple collections a year for different times of the year and holidays, Valentine's, Christmas, Halloween. And now it's like pulling teeth to get like one collection a year from them. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's, you know, kind of sucks. I, I, I love crate paper. I'd love to see them come out with more. Um, but I guess we will see. And uh, all we can do is keep giving our opinions to American crafts and tell, let the keep letting them know what we want as the consumer and hopefully they will listen. So yeah. Um, so yeah, this, uh, this collection is super cute, but I just, I mean, it just sucks. There's not even like a 12 by 12 foam sticker sheet and you guys know how much I love chipboard, but if anything, I'd like to have some dimensional foam stickers um, but they didn't even give us that in this collection. It's just ephemera and stickers and those little enamel dot stickers. And that's about it. Like, you don't, and then all the rest of these are super tiny little gumdrops and tiny little flowers, little bells, present, snowflake, another little gingerbread girl, floral, and another gum, couple drop gumdrops. So that's everything in the, um, in the pack for this collection. So, um, Okay, so I'm going to circle back around to Halloween and talk about the the Tricks and Treats collection from Paige Evans. Now, that was a collection that I had no intention on getting because I like Paige Evans. I like her um, products. There's only a few collections of hers that I would say that I, like, absolutely love um, and have to have. Like, Bloom and Wild, when I was playing with it earlier this year for spring, it was like, oh, I loved, I loved playing with that collection. I'm, I can't wait to play with it again in the spring, but... Um, I sometimes, I sometimes struggle with her collections because her papers are very, very busy and, um, uh, oftentimes the patterns or the colors and patterns together are a little bit too busy for me. So I sometimes do struggle with them. Um, now I think the Halloween collection is super cute. Like, don't get me wrong. It's super cute. It's just something that I think I personally would be struggling with to play with. Um, it's just my, the way my brain works. Um, but I did want to get some of the puffy stickers. I saw Alicia at Love Letter Generation haul these. I know other people have hauled them, but I'm actually kind of behind on haul videos because before my trip, I was watching a lot of pack with me videos. Um, every time I go on a trip, I try to, um, get better at packing because international trips are just super stressful and I want to try to, um, become a better packer and eventually get to only taking a carry-on for international trips but I'm not quite there but I digress um before trips I always watch a lot of like pack with me videos just to kind of get tips and tricks so I'm a little bit behind on my haul videos um so I'm sure people that were hauling this collection um I just missed videos I'm behind on things but I did watch a video of Alicia hauling the Paige Evans tricks and treats whatever she got from the collection over in Australia and I really fell in love with the puffy stickers. So I was like, okay, these puffy stickers, I think I can coordinate them with Hey Sand or Hey Pumpkin, which I'm working with right now. So I did um, pull up uh, a Google search and tried to find the Paige Evans Tricks and Treats puffy stickers. Um, that collection is very, very hard to find. I have heard from uh, some videos I have actually seen where people are saying that everything was sold out. Um, people were having trouble getting the products to their stores or their shops or whatever. So um, I think there was just a distribution issue. Maybe American Crafts just didn't realize how big of a following um, those of us crafters that follow Paige Evans and Halloween crafting and, and whatnot were going to just go gaga over the collection. So I think there were just some issues with distribution. Um, but I did want to order some puffy stickers. And on this website I found called Brutus Monroe just a random um, website I found they did have some of the puffy stickers so I did order I ordered like the last three packs that they had 
Um, one, I love these because they have the holographic and Hey Pumpkin also has holographic. And I think some of the little characters will coordinate nicely with that collection. Not all of these I think will go nicely because that collection does not have purple or pink or anything really. Um, but I think some, a lot of these will coordinate uh, minus the like pastel-y colors. Um, but I wanted to have some of these to play with with the Hey Pumpkin collection. So I ordered three packs of these and that is everything I have in this um, quick little haul. If anyone has any questions, please let me know. If you've not already, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you would consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.